Good morning, Packers fans. Aaron Negler here with your Packers Daily Chat. The morning after the Packers have a wild one against the Bears coming out victorious 45-30. to 30. Uh, Special teams blunders galore. More injury issues, yet the stars shine brightest on the biggest stage. Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams, Aaron Jones, and of course, A.J. Dillon all showed out. And Alan Lazard chipping in some important receptions. A touchdown, obviously, to get him going in the scoring department. Uh, a lot to get to. A lot of folks already chiming in on the uh, <laughs> the comments. Good to see everybody this morning. Uh, what an appropriate title for today. I mean, have they called Tyler Irvin yet? That's all I really want to know. RJS, thanks for the Super Chat. Real talk, the team's issues seem systemic beyond coach or coaching regime. Is it a lack of priority in personnel department? Is it the weather we cursed? I'll go with cursed. <clears throat> I highly doubt it's the personnel department. They've provided plenty of great football players for this team to utilize. I think it comes down to Mo Drayton. I don't think it's uh, a question of uh, a lack of talent. Um, I do think they need a return specialist post-haste. There's no doubt about that. But outside of that, they've got the bodies and the people they need to do it and get it done. And that comes down to execution. And that goes back to coaching. Uh, what else we got? Uncultured, thanks for the super chat. How does Mo Drayton still have a job? To quote the operative in Serenity, you know, in certain older civilized cultures, when men failed as entirely as you have, they would have thrown themselves on their swords. Pappies. I mean, because some of it is his fault, but some of it isn't. And it's hard, I think, as a coach, when you're Matt LaFleur, to sit there and turn around and give the guy the axe and make him a scapegoat. I mean, scapegoats are easy, especially after a frustrating game like that. But Matt will take the 30,000-foot view. Now, do I think Mo is safe? No, no not particularly. But um, I don't think he's going to make any rash judgments. Uh, what else we got here, folks? What else we got? Patrick, thanks for the Super Chat. Top of the morning to you. Go, Pat, go. What's up, Patrick? Good morning. I hope things are well up there in Canada. Mark. No, you, sir. You, sir, are the man. Stanley, thanks for the Super Chat. Moral of the story. Don't mock the belt. When will teams learn? That's what I want to know. When when are when are defenders going to understand that this never works out well for you? I don't know, man. But hey, as long as they keep doing it. What's funny is too is that the Bears did it in the first game and got shellacked. I don't know, man. I just I don't know. Where were you sitting last night, Nags? Uh, Brandy, I was in section one thirty six, courtesy of Steve Zabin, uh, the host of the Zabe Show on iHeart in Milwaukee. Um, he offered me a ticket. I hadn't gone to a game in like a decade. So I said, sure, let's go. It was fun as hell, man. I tell you what, I, like I said, I haven't been there in a long time. Uh, at least as a fan, it was weird to look up and see the press box where I've been sitting for the last number of years. But, uh, yeah, it was a ton of fun. Great vibe. The vibe last night in the stadium was excellent. And I stood mostly the entire time, never got told to sit down. Everyone was in a real good mood. There were a lot of really vocal Bears fans. And I want to say something. I want to say something about the Bears fans in Lambeau Field last night. I was so impressed. I, I have nothing but respect for the fans of the Bears who showed up last night knowing that their team, they're not going anywhere. They're not going to the playoffs this year. You know, they're in a transitional phase. They're probably going to fire their coach. Yet they came and they were so loud and supportive of their team no matter what happened. And they talked so much trash. In the lion's den, so to speak. I mean, that's fandom. That's being diehard. It was awesome. And then the best part, this is true. After the game, we're walking out. Everyone's going down the concourse, whatever. And, of course, a bear still suck chant joins out. And there was, like, a group of, like, four or five guys, Bears fans, head to toe regaled in Bears merch. They joined in the Bears still suck chant and then segued that into a fire naggy chant. I mean... Mad respect. This is what I always talk about with, you know, uh, the respect I have for the Bears, the organization, the fact that, you know, the rivalry has existed for so long, etc. Man, it's just in the culture here. It's in the blood. And you could totally feel that last night in the stadium. That's something you would never obviously get in a broadcast or what have you. But it was awesome. That was mad respect to the Bears fans in attendance last night. It was great. Sean, thanks for the Super Chat. Still time for today's good, bad, and ugly. Oh, yeah, I'll get at I'll have that out this afternoon. I just didn't have time overnight, but it'll come. It'll be there. Patience. Patience, young Jedi. John, thanks for the super chat. Did anyone tell you to sit down at the game? Preston Smith continues to dominate. Not a single soul told me to sit down. I did have my sweatshirt that said, don't tell me to sit down. But, um, yeah, no, 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 
nobody made a word, made a peep. It was great. I, the, like I said, the vibe was awesome. People stood if they wanted to stand. People, plenty of people were sitting, like, uh, like kind of in back and around. And they never said boo. They just watched the Jumbotron. It was, I'm telling you, man, I was so happy about the vibe last night. As far as Preston, I mean, what a year. What a year. Very uh, underappreciated, I think majority of this season but i think the longer he continues to play this year he's keeps making huge huge plays another one last night obviously just a guy who a lot of people wrote off after last season i mean just so happy for him jeezy baby thanks for the super chat i was flabbergasted when taylor tried to catch the kick going out of bounds at the five what is ron zook doing (laughs) yeah that was that was surreal. That was like one of those slow-mo car crashes where you no, like you saw him tracking the ball and I'm just like, no, 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 let it go. Let it go. It's going out of bounds. Go. I mean, I guess he's worried that, you know, it's going to land inbounds maybe and the bears are going to run up and try and get it and recover and get possession. I guess. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Obviously he wasn't made available last night, so I'm not really sure what he was thinking. Uh, Porkmaster, what's up, man? Thanks for the super chat. Packers special teams is the new definition of insanity. <laughs> You're probably not far off there, Porkmaster. I mean, no doubt about it. GBP, man, what's up? Thanks for the Super Chat. This team overcomes a lot. O-line shuffling, and they still mess around and put up 38 on offense. Frustrating at times, but damn, this team is fun to watch. The only quibble I had with the offense last night is the same damn thing as the first time against the Bears. They come out and try to throw it all over the yard. Three straight passes to start the game. And oh, wow, what a shock. They start slow. Yeah, I know, I know. They want to, they're going to run their offense, blah, blah, blah. But, oh, and then magically they turn around and hand it off to A.J. Dillon a bunch of times to start the second half. And look what happens. They march right down the field. Quick passes in the flat, make some things, you know, work. They come out with all these long developing passes. I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. But for the most part, and your the bulk of your chat here, yes, a thousand percent, the idea that, and I got a lot of questions over the last, like, two months. Why is Dennis Kelly still on this team? What is he doing? Why does he contribute? Now you have your answer, Packers fans. I legit said, I think two months ago, someone asked me this. And I said, it's a long season. And remember when we got to the playoffs last year and lost in large part because of the lack of depth at tackle? We got a lot of depth at tackle. Now, we're down to the bare bones at this point. Kelly's the last guy standing. He and Yash have got to hold it down. But... It's a great signing. That's a guy who played 17 games last year, including a playoff game. Who's your, like, basically fourth tackle who can come in and help you get through the rest of the game in a pinch? God, that's, I mean, hats off to Goody for that one. No doubt about it. Joe's Home Theater. What's up, man? Thanks for the Super Chat. That first drive in the second half had me like, damn, we are good. Can we just get rid of all those empty sets? I always say I don't mind the empty sets as a wrinkle. I just don't want it as part of the base of the offense. But, yeah, that first drive in the second half was great. And I love hearing Matt postgame talk about how they've kind of went to their menu of, like, 25, 30 plays that they had drawn up prior, like their script, and basically took away the ones they'd already run, obviously, but then just kind of reordered things they hadn't run yet and then went with that. Damn, do some more of that. That's all I got to say. It was pretty great. Stanley, thanks for the Super Chat. Tyler Irvin is still available, just saying. Uh, Stanley, have you seen the title of the video? Thanks, buddy. Um, to uh, actually just take a second, and give uh, our our good our new good friends over at DraftKings a shout out. Uh, oh, there they are, DraftKings Sportsbook. I mean, look, I understand uh, that we are not a huge betting site here at Cheesehead TV, but I do know a lot of people in that area and love football and do all the great things that surround uh, all the fun stuff you can do on the DraftKings Sportsbook. So, hey, you should right now download the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Use promo code CHEESEHEAD. Uh, DraftKings Sportsbook is giving all new players a deposit bonus up to $1,000 in free credits with their first deposit. Head to DraftKings Sportsbook app right now and check out all they have to offer, including same-game parlays, player props, live betting, and so much more. DraftKings, American's top-rated sportsbook app, is safe, secure, and reliable. You can deposit and withdraw your money at your convenience. If sportsbook is not available in your state, then that's a possibility. Don't forget about the DraftKings Fantasy app. They are offering millions of dollars in total prizes every week. Do it, people. Get on it. You know you want to. 
tons of fun. And hey, as our own Oz Osborne says, he wins tons of money on DraftKings. So there you go. That's what you want to do, folks. Get all over that. Uh, don't want to miss any super chats. That'd be very upsetting. Luke, what's up, man? Thanks for the super chat. Morning, Nags. Hope the motherland is treating you well. It looked like last night Lazard played some tight end snaps. Love it. He was all over the place. He was perimeter. He was tight end. He was uh, slot at times. He played all across the board, and it was wonderful to see. And he absolutely came to play. Great to see him get involved. Obviously, some of that is because Cobb was out. Um, it was great to see him contribute, no doubt about it. And as Luke, not as Luke, as Rogers said after the game, um, you know, Lazard had to be kicking himself. Uh, the last couple of games, he's had some opportunities and just not come down with them. So it was nice to see him get back on the board, get back in the groove, so to speak. Jeff, thanks for the super chat. Razul for president. That's a that's a sentiment I can get behind. Big B is at Fleet Farm. What's up, Big B? How you doing, buddy? Mike Malone, thanks for the super chat. How many more injuries until Valdir is back? Well, I think he has to unretire again, but I think one more. We'll see. Javier, thanks for the super chat. Still better than Meninga's special teams unit, in my opinion. Yeah, Javier, that's a low bar, but yeah, you're probably right. I tend to agree with that. Nicholas, thanks for the super chat. Tyler Irvin time. Has anyone look? Do any does anybody look at the title of the video before they chat? I don't. Yes, it's Tyler Irvin time. Or it should be, anyway. Marshall, thanks for the Super Chat. Is the Amari return experiment over? Jeesh. <clears throat> Probably not, because he had a nice one late in the game. And they'll point to that. So, we'll see. And also, what's the alternative now that Cobb's hurt? Who are you putting back there? Lucas Patrick? I mean, there's only so many dudes that can do it. Patrick, thanks for the Super Chat. Razul gave me major Doug Evans at St. Louis in 96 fives in the moment. Patrick, I referenced that exact game last night. That was a game in St. Louis where things felt really bad at halftime, and then they came out and just killed in the second half. That's so funny you mentioned that game. Then the special teams happened. Still hoping the ultimate result is the same. I mean, I'm down for a 96-like run to the Super Bowl. Totally down with it. Timbo Slice, what's up, man? Thanks for the Super Chat. Campbell and Douglas earned a big offseason payday. Yeah, probably have. Is it going to be with Green Bay? That's going to be tough. Mm. Tank Tank, thanks for the super chat. Special teams deserves to be the bad and the ugly. Well, I'll take that under advisement. No doubt about it. <coughs> that O-line going to get exposed at some point? Tampa, Jimmy, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? They play the Baltimore Ravens next week. That's the only game that matters. And they ain't going to get exposed there. I'll tell you that right now. People be looking ahead to games that don't even exist. Stanley, thanks for the super chat. JD81 is stepping up as tight end one. I don't know if he's eight, tight end one, but I mean, he's splitting that because you saw how much uh, productivity Big Dog had last night. But I mean, DeGuara came to play. He had a nice game, both with the ball in his hand and doing some blocking up back at times. Love this kid. I really hope he gets more and more opportunities. Um, but yeah, he's he's rounding into shape. You know, we talked about it earlier this year. It's a big injury to come back from. You know, I know he was sluggish to start the season, wasn't very productive, probably a little uh, mistake prone at times, but he's really kind of rounding into a nice player. Uh, what else we got? Nicholas, thanks for the super chat. Does DraftKings Sportsbook work in Wisconsin? I don't believe so, not yet, but it's coming soon. Um, I know because we've talked with Oneida about stuff, and uh, they're really, really close. I know Oneida is just about to start. Um, I think, or they may have already begun uh, sports betting on site here in Green Bay. So things are moving that direction in Wisconsin. Vex, thanks for the super chat. Completely unacceptable for Mo Drayton and Amari Rogers. Both need to be unemployed. This is not a Super Bowl team with this special teams. Vex, um, fun fact for you: you know who had the worst special teams in the NFL last year? The Super Bowl champions. Tampa had terrible special teams last season, and they won it all. I don't think they need to be unemployed. I do think they need to take a different approach. There's no doubt about that. What does firing Mo Drayton do for you? What What's going to happen then? Say they fire him today. Then who is doing the special teams coaching? Making uh, sure that guys are in and out. Are you hiring someone from outside? who doesn't know these guys, hasn't been with them in the program since April and working with them week in and week out, day in and day out. 
Um, you know, do you promote from within? Who is that? You doing a what? You taking a offensive quality assistant coach, making him special teams coordinator? It's not as easy as just firing a guy. They just have to execute better. Now, the one thing they can do is get a better return. They can go get Tyler Irvin. He is available. He knows their system, both offensively and in special teams. And he's proven he can be productive. Now, I'm sure they have reservations about his ability to stay healthy. But at this point, you need someone back there you can trust. And right now, there ain't no one you can trust. Not on this team. Not that we've seen. So that's the one thing they can do. But firing people, that's just reactionary nonsense. What else we got? What else we got? That's sunk one. Thanks to Super Chat. Did you get your pappy this weekend? No pappies. No pappies this weekend. Joe Barry can do special teams. He's doing defense. Jeezy Baby, thanks to the Super Chat. Makes it Area Smith special teams coach and signed Tremont. <laughs> hey, I tweeted at Tremont last night. Said you got a couple of returns left in you. God knows they need, they need something. <clears throat> Armchair GM's knee-jerk reaction is always fire them. Jeff, sadly, you're right. Now, look. Again, do I think Mo Drayton is a thousand percent safe? No. I mean, last night was embarrassing. And I think Matt will step back and he'll completely review everything they've done up to this point, including this bye week and then coming into this week of practice. You know, he'll be methodical about it. But it's just never as easy as fire a guy. It just isn't. Uh, Cody special teams was abysmal, but at least Crosby went seven for seven on his kicks. I mean, operation looked good. And we need to knock on some wood here. Don't want that to creep up and bite us later on. Um, Mike, thanks for the super chat. Mo has got to go, or isn't it time to question Lafleur's judgment? Mike, did you hear what I just? Did you hear anything I just said? I'm. I'm. Is my micro? Is the microphone on? Please test, test, one, two, test, test, one, two. Is the mic on? Oh, Tyler did a great job filling in last night. Mike, thanks so much for watching. Yeah, I know he was a little nervous, but I thought he did a phenomenal job. I went back and watched some of it. Um, he was great. It was just, it was nice to be able to go to the game and have the watch party still on because I know a lot of people have kind of made it a habit of coming to Cheesehead TV on game day. So we wanted to keep it going. And um, yeah, I thought Tyler was great. It was fun to watch. <laughs> I, I checked in a couple times from the stadium, but thanks for checking it out, Mike. And uh, we'll be back with our normal watch party next week, but it was good to have the opportunity to go to the game. Javier, thanks for the super chat. Let's start an initiative to get TJ Slayton to return kicks. Can't get much worse. <laughs> On a serious note, though, maybe win free for kick returner. Um, if they brought him up, sure. Why not? I mean, is he capable? Has he done it before? You know? Is the solution here to promote people who have no experience? I don't know. Maybe. Isaiah, thanks for the Super Chat. Wish we could bring back Prime Clifton, Prime Tauscher, and Prime Sitton. Well, I mean, doesn't everybody? You know, I wish I was a multi-billionaire, but, you know, here we go. We got to live in the now, in the real world. Jovan, thanks for the Super Chat. Who do we have to pay to have Black sit on the sideline with a Coke and a smile and not play? All right. He played better as the game went on, and he was much better on teams as the game went on. But, yeah, he got burned to a crisp on that touchdown. No question about it. Um, he's one of the few guys who likes to hit, though. That's why I like him out there. You know, for every, like, yes, the, the touchdown gets magnified because it's like a big play and you're really frustrated, et cetera. But there are a couple other plays where he is a big part of stopping the run or, you know, making sure that big uh, or small completions don't rupture into big ones. Like, I get it's frustrating, man. He's a young player still, though, and he brings a lot of physicality to that unit that I like. But I hear you. I definitely hear the frustration. No question. Jeezy Baby, thanks for the super chat. Hire Aaron Rodgers, doppelganger from the crowd last night. Special teams coach. Done. Solved. I love it. Uh, Chris, thanks for the super chat. Morning, Nags. Just got quick trip. Hey, whoa. we'll see you later. We'll see you next time. Great name. Great game last night. Met Aaron Jones post game and he recorded a video on my phone. What a great time. Hope you did too. I had a great time. That's awesome. Aaron is one of the nicest, most giving guys on the team. No question about it. Always has been. That's dope that you got to meet him, man. Uh, Rogers, that. Thanks for the super chat. Tyler did a great job last night. Missed you guys. Thank you. Thanks for checking it out. Chris, thanks for the super chat. Got my stadium tour in an hour. Oh, man. Enjoy. It's such a blast. And hey, if you get a chance, when you go into the media area, yell, hi, Rob from Aaron. No, don't do that. 
Jimbo Slice, thanks for the super chat. Matt has a chance to be the best record in three years ever for a coach. I wonder where all the haters are when we hired him. I don't remember a ton of haters. I do remember a lot of people going, who? And questioning the hire. That I remember. But I don't remember. I mean, haters, like rising to the level of, like, oh, he's never going to succeed or something like that. I don't remember that. That I don't remember. Kiki needs more consistency. He did a good job. Brandy, I agree. It's He is a frustrating case. He has stretches where he looks, maybe not dominant, but he looks really good. And then he gets washed out. He kind of disappears. If he could just string it together on a consistent basis, yeah, he'd be a player. All right, everybody, I'm going to have to get going. I can't thank you enough for hanging out, talking Packers each and every day, Monday through Friday. With that said, there is no Packers Daily tomorrow because I will be traveling, uh, but I'll be back at it Wednesday morning. We will be back with Carrie the G tomorrow night with A.J. Dillon right here on the YouTube channel, so make sure you check that out. And then, of course, on Wednesday, Packer Transplants Live returns with myself and Corey Banke. So don't miss any of that. Make sure you subscribe. Hit like, tell your friends, and tell your family, Cheesehead TV, we are devoted to Green Bay Packers fans worldwide. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great day. Go Pack Go.